Hey, how's it going? This is Paul Honda 0411 back again with another figure rent review. And as you can see, this is a McFarlane NBA backboard. Well, I've been searching online and YouTube regarding this thing, and I'm always one of those people that you saw it before and you're like contemplating getting it, not getting it. So, I mean, I saw this like way back. So, I was in a thrift store and finally I found it again. So, I was like, I'm not gonna walk away and. Yeah, I'm gonna grab it. And again, I'm always um, curious about this because I never really seen one in person, like open. But yeah, uh, this was made in around 2004, 2005 when McFarlane was into the whole all licensing thing from NFL, NBA, ML, uh, MLB, and so on. But again, if you guys know McFarlane, they do come out with nice little figures. Articulation wise, yeah. So hopefully the Call of Duty series that they're gonna be coming out with will turn out better. So, but again, let's see what's the hoopla about this guy. Let's open it up. All right, out of the back, there's basically this guys and oops, I forgot about that guy. So there's six piggies that's inside, and the man, the paper that comes with it. No such thing as a manual, so. It's gonna be a style explanatory how to assemble it. So I'll try to make it. But I don't know, maybe it's from do age for this one's been so long and I don't know if they didn't made a bootleg of this. So again I found this in a thrift store and I just like grab it. <laughs> so as you can see there's like a couple of smudge whitening, I guess yellowish. And on the base has a lot of cut marks, so Again, this is not really so, ooh. This is kind of solid, so. So let's see if we can assemble this. So obviously this one goes here. There you go. So far so good. Then we have the base. Nope, it does not go there. Ha <laughs> 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 I guess I'm we're getting uh, let me just zoom out get that thing hmm. this one goes here I can close it in turn and we got a hoop <gasps> it's really fragile I almost snap it Oh, it's a tight fit, but it's there. So, I'm guessing this one goes all the way in. There. And. I guess I can't see, but. I'm working out on the top joint right now. It just snapped, and the last piece, it's a camera with a light, so I guess it just goes, I have to go be, oh yeah, it goes behind, so it clips, there you go, alright, and there we have it, out of the box, and Ready to see, so not bad. Huh. So for size comparison I got a Jax or no, I forgot the brand for Snap Jax. But it's one of those MB heroes that came out two or three years ago. I was like I don't have any my partner figures to size compare this so as you can see, I don't know, it looks tall for, and let's compare this to the Shohoku that just came out. As you can see the size, 
Huh. Cat small, but again, it's something for good. We can have a six inch battle at least. We have a quart. Let's see if I can put Takaragi all the way up there. <laughs> the stand even won't reach it all the way. <laughs> to the hoops. <laughs> But picture wise, I mean, if you can take it at a different angle, it, it can pass as a, as a cord for their size. So, yeah. I mean, I get to get go pictures with this, enjoy it. I mean, I did like it. I mean, for the price I paid for this, which to be honest is like five bucks. <laughs> and you just need to like really, if you've been to the store, you need to like really dive in and hope to find it some cool stuff and hopefully not just junk but uh, excuse me sorry Garagi. but overall rant it's an old thing luckily I never bought this back then when it was priced for almost 50 or I don't know how much this thing goes for eBay right now but yeah it's a good scale for my Harley figure so we're talking about like on um, 7 inch or depending on what which guy or player are they using but for a standard 6 inch figure, the ring does look big for them. I mean, if you're into photography of toys or anything like that, you can like cheat the way and retrospect how to make it big. Like in this angle, you can see the ring looks good and Kobe about to dunk. But again, for the price, if you guys find it still that's cheap, go grab it. And it's a nice addition to any basketball fan or Something for diorama if you're into those things. But yeah, McFarlane, they need to really step up their game. I mean, they've been out for a while and they've been doing a lot of toys for quite some time. But again, just the quality issues, I mean, detail wise, paint, they're always pushing it above and beyond. It's just, they need to like really reassess some of their stuff because they have good license and. And don't start me with the whole anime series that they did with Attack on Titans, Naruto, and what was the other one? Um, Tokyo Ghoul. Those are the things I won't even pick up. <laughs> I mean, at least NECA is still there kicking it. So hopefully NECA can start doing the NBA or any basketball or sports series. But again, thank you for viewing this quick review. I'm under the weather right now. I just want to show you this to you guys. I find... I mean, I did find this and I'm just happy even though, again, there's a lot of issues with it, I guess, from just being old, as you can see. So that's, uh, I don't know if somebody just touched this while packing it, but <laughs> this just came out of the box, fresh out of the box, and I have no intention of keep putting it back again, because you know how my problem is, you need to cut things, and if you're one of those, like, really savvy person, I, mean, I try to cut the best way I can to put it back, but... Nah, I'm not gonna put this thing back anymore. So again, thank you for watching this, and as always, thank you for watching. <laughs> Do leave a like and and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.